In recent months, I've become more interested in collecting Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance games. Growing up, the Game Boy and the Game Boy Advance were by far my most heavily played systems, and as such, I'm trying to slowly build up a collection of games again. I would really like to live stream some Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games in the near future, as well as create a sort of digital backup of my entire Game Boy library as the collection grows. Fortunately for me, there's a cool little device for the PC that will let me do both of these things and even a little bit more. Let's get into it. This is the GB Operator made by Epilog. It's a device that allows you to play, backup, and manage save data for Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games. I pre-ordered this device on July 1st for about 50 bucks. It does look like Epilog is accepting orders for these again, however, don't expect your device to be shipped out until sometime in December. The unboxing experience for the GB Operator was pretty minimal. You get some documentation, the GB Operator, and a USB-A to USB-C cable for connecting it to your Windows, Mac, or Linux computer. Personally, I really like the design of this device. It's nice and small, so it's easy to throw into a laptop bag and take it with you. The translucent shell and the black circuit board really allows the device to look good in any PC setup. And I also appreciate the sort of rubberized pad on the bottom, giving the GB operator a little bit of grip to your desk. To use the GB operator, you just need to plug the device into your computer, make sure to download and install the Epilog operator software linked in the description below. Run the software and you'll be prompted to insert a game into the GB operator. Put in your game of choice, click the launch button, and have fun playing your game. Now the hardware itself is pretty cool, but it's the software that's paired with this that makes it really interesting. From my understanding, when playing games using the GB operator, the game first gets dumped and then is emulated in the app. What's really cool about pairing this hardware with the emulator, I can play my games on the computer, save in game as I normally would, and then when exiting the app, it gives me the option to choose to transfer that save file onto the physical cartridge itself. This is awesome because if I want to take my games with me on the go and play it on my Game Boy, I can easily just pick up where I left off. If you're someone who is concerned about maintaining an authentic collection, you'll also notice a little indicator in the software that lets you know if the cartridge is authentic or not. And under the software's play tab, you can rebind the gamepad controls, but strangely enough, there's no option to rebind keyboard keys yet. I have no idea why this isn't available as it should be day one, but Epilog says that they'll add this feature sometime in a few Future updates, so at least the feature is coming. We just don't know when. The data section allows you to back up your saves, preventing you from losing that precious data should your save battery ever die. You can also upload save data to your cartridge as well. After a quick internet search and an even quicker download, I can finally say that I have all 151 Pokemon in Pokemon Yellow. Thanks for the help, Jay. What I personally find to be the most cool thing about this device is not only can you upload and download save data, you can even dump digital copies of your game and save it to your computer. This is an awesome feature for preservation, and it allows you to legally download your own ROMs and use them on other emulators of your choice. There's also an upload game option for those of you making your own game in the homebrew scene, or if you just want to upload a bunch of ROMs onto a single cart. This feature allows you to do exactly that. The GB operator is also advertised to allow you to transfer photos from your Game Boy camera cartridge. However, when I tried clicking on the Photos tab in the software, it seems to be grayed out and inaccessible. I'm pretty sure it's just because I don't have a camera cartridge, but let me know in the comments down below if you were able to confirm this or not. Like I said before, in addition to preserving my game collection, I really wanted to be able to hopefully stream some of these Game Boy games in the future. And I'm happy to report that the GB operator works flawlessly with OBS. The emulator itself is solid and I had no technical problems capturing footage. The only real downside is that there isn't a true full screen option in the emulator, so you always have a play, data, and photos tab visible. You can always crop it out in OBS or hide it behind an overlay like I did, but it would be nice if I didn't have to find a fix for it myself. Performance wise, this has been working flawlessly on every game I've tested, whether it be Game Boy, Game Boy Color, or Game Boy Advance. I had no noticeable input lag, no slowdowns that were the fault of the software, and yeah, it's just a simple plug and play device that works really well. In addition to some of my minor gripes being corrected, I would also like to see some color or filter options added to the software. Allowing for things like scan lines and color palette swaps would be really nice. In the software, both emulator and device settings are marked as coming soon, so hopefully that gets added in the near future. Minor absent features aside, all all in all, I think Epilogue's GB Operator is an awesome purchase for anyone looking to collect, play, stream, or develop Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games. At $50, I think it's a very fair asking price, and hopefully we will see more cool features added to the software over time. If you're interested in checking out this device for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description down below. With that being said, thank you so much for watching the video and checking out the channel. If you would like to see more Game Boy related content like this, be sure to leave a like on this video, and feel free to check out a video I recently did
started on modifying my Game Boy Advance with a modern IPS screen. Just click the card on top or check the video description if you would like to see that. Feel free to hit us up on any of our social media platforms and consider joining our Discord community server, all listed in the description down below. And yeah, that's enough rambling out of me. Thank you again so much for watching. My name is Blake, and for all things tech, games, movies, to anything nerdy in between, be sure to subscribe to Digital Cynics. Have a good one, everyone. We'll see you next time.